Hey, people. Sometimes the blues just flows out of me. I don't know why. I um, I am, as you can see, in a different location. I'm over in the uh, the other house up here in Michigan. It has a wonderful old Yamaha upright piano. What a gorgeous, gorgeous instrument. It was just tuned. Sounds pretty good. Um, and... What I've been reflecting on today, I mean, I, if, I don't know how many of you watched my post from yesterday, but my post from yesterday, I was doing my post on parenthood, in walks my sister-in-law, and we had this wonderful conversation about parenting and what it's like as kids grow up and what you, how you're always evolving as a parent, how we're holding the experience for the child and ourselves and all these different layers. And, you know, one of the amazing things about being in a on a family vacation and this is actually my second one of the, of the of the summer my first one was with my wife's family katie's family the entire family was there this time we're all here except for sabina who couldn't make it from santa fe but you know one of the things that i have been um you know i'm observing at this time in a way that's new the thing i'm observing is Whenever you start putting family constellations together, whenever members of a family get together and spend time, a dynamic activates that is like, it's, it's, it brings back the past. It's almost like going back in time. It's like you bring back the layers of who everybody was, sort of these roles and these... Uh, ways we've grown to think about each other as family members and and so and I think this is one of the reasons why <laughs> you know it's like a cliche that going on a family vacation going on the holidays together is like a stressful experience I actually there's a musical I'm writing which is literally about that it's literally about a family at Thanksgiving and all the family dynamics that get activated, all the stuff that comes up. And, and what's amazing to me, though, is I was, I was just having another conversation with my sister-in-law, Julia, about this. The amazing thing to me is that there's a level on which, as we do a kind of inner work, and we're... we're essentially realizing as we're doing, as we're realizing in all of this work, we're realizing our everything is happening within the frame of consciousness there was a moment earlier today when i felt like i wasn't being triggered but i was being it's like i was remembering a kind of flavor of what i feel like in my family feeling oh you've fallen down I'm so sorry I thought you looked like you were slipping there as as I had the feeling I thought to myself oh here comes that feeling I was like oh here comes here comes that sensation here's what it feels like to be Robin in this family 
And then, but within a, within one minute or so, just within a short, not, I didn't sit there very long before I was like, oh, but actually, I can observe this. I can sit here and observe that thing activating. I don't have to be it. I don't have to, A, participate or in any of the, I don't have to, I don't have to play out that whatever role I'm feeling like I am have been cast in. And again, this is not, nobody else was doing this to me. This was just like my sensation of being in the environment. And and within, I mean, it was like 30 seconds, a minute. I, I, I backed up off it and I became utterly fascinated with it. It was like that experience, an experience of being in my family that has often been difficult to, to, um, to know how to handle because I'm trying to distance myself from some of that. You know, like that's the thing about inner work. We're, 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 we're oftentimes we're distancing ourselves from, from what? Our ego, our egoic past. Our ego is the past. Our ego is the compendium of experiences that have formed us up to now. So wrestling with freeing myself from my ego, sometimes the last thing you wanna do is walk into a room where all your family members are there and they're gonna immediately activate all this deep, deep programming, conditioning that we have from growing up. Well, kind of for the first time today, I felt that starting to happen and then like just by, by clocking, oh, but I, can, I get to observe this now. This is actually like an experiment. I get to sort of be interested in what's happening. I get to participate in the moment, but not play out the expectation necessarily or, the, or, or what I'm feeling as the, the, the thing that is binding me. And, 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 and what that gave me was an incredible sense of freedom of playfulness, of joy. And I think, you know, this is my first trip with Annalise. Annalise is away from her mama for the first time for seven days. We're going Saturday to Saturday. We may go back a day or two early, but not because I think we can't handle the time. It's just because I think getting back home earlier might be good for other reasons. But, but as I go into that experience and as I feel her, in this dynamic. I mean, what are we talking about here? We're talking about her first experience of what it's like to be in this environment. Her experience of what this family dynamic is. And we just did Maui with Katie's family. So she got that imprint. It just brings me a lot of joy to feel that I can enter my family, be in the environment, engage in all the relationships fully and at the same time not lose this deeper sense of of everything i'm liberating myself from you know i've said this before on this post when we when we start to transcend our ego what's happening is we're letting go of the past well oftentimes a family will fight that because the family is the past that's literally the, the most the kind of kernel of identity that we forge when we're little tiny pre-verbal babies is what happens in our family so letting go of that that's a threat it's a threat to the family ego um but knowing that that's ultimately not a real threat ultimately that threat is was only to the kind of uh closed it, it's only it's only a threat if everybody doesn't want anybody else to change. If we can permit each other to change, and we, we're actually all in it for evolution, we're all in it for finding out who we can be, but maintaining this love, we can have a whole different relationship. And I'm, I'm witnessing that here, and I'm feeling it, and I'm just feeling incredibly grateful for it, and feeling my, my daughter absorb that version of this experience at a very young age, so. It's a wonderful thing. I'm so grateful to my family, to everybody that is, you know, up here, it's, it's, it's like my entire family, like extended, extended family. So it's major connection with lineage. Um, so yeah, I think that's where I am today, people. Um, 
Hopefully I get to play this instrument for you again. It just sounds great. <laughs> Much love. I'll see you tomorrow.